got the full external roll cages on in his vehicles. Again, it's not the plan to tip him over, but if it does happen, it's not the end of the world. These vehicles are built up for the rough and tough. Those big tires on there. That'll be for the traction. Boys decided to uh, head straight through the Wombat holes. Both vehicles have good suspension travel. Look at that defender make its way through. That's a quick time through the Wombat holes. He's made up plenty of times. And he's waiting for the uh, boys in the cruiser to pick their line on that big tyre, big agricultural tyre stuck in the dirt there. Yeah, that's no joke there. The uh, the tyre becomes quite slippery. Not a lot of traction. You need a lot of clearance to make it up and over. You can see the Toyota back and forth. And the little bump, you see the bump up there that lifts the back of the vehicle up to make his way over there. Again, a very common move in the rock sports scene. The old hump the bump. Again, the diesel defender is not real happy. Flash his wife, beat behind, get out of my way. I'm ready to pass. Again, if you like the action that you're seeing here today, 2013, there's going to be a full series of rock racing. Keep up with the action with rockracing4x4.com. Get on the forum, check it out. Oh, plenty of air on that front. Obviously, the uh, boys making a bit of a error in line there. That'll allow the diesel to get past the, uh, the diesel defender. He's made the right navigation. He's up and over the rocks. The boys will have to loop back and do the rocks if they want to finish this course. So, unfortunately for them, the lamp, the defender slip past the British off-road entry. That's it, he's finished. The boys in the cruiser will slip back. They do a quick climb again. This is a little bit more of an aggressive climb to this side, but it shouldn't be any trouble for the big land cruiser. The way he's just slipped it around there, no worries, off is engaged. Quick dash to the finish line, back in the